um, just telling jokes. But what's wrong with that? That's what I say. What is wrong with that? Uh, you can comment below if you th can think of something that's wrong with it. What's up, YouTube? That's good. What's up, YouTube? Hello. Uh, I thought I'd do a bit more Mick Miller because uh, I've got huge, huge amount of views for Mick Miller at Butlins. And uh, so thank you if you've watched that. Thank you if you've subscribed. Don't forget to obviously like, subscribe, hit the notifications button, comment below, etc, etc. Uh, so I will dive right into this. This is uh, Mick Miller live from the Showboat Club. Don't know where that is. Um, uploaded by Mark Healy. Sounds familiar, that name. Uh, so thanks for that. And um, let's dive right in to uh, this. Li literally. Basically. I think I'm Coco the Clown when I walk on. <laughs> Honestly, kids. I think I'm going to pull a string and my hair's going to fly up. <laughs> you don't actually go bald. When you get older in life, it just grows in and it comes out your nose and your ears. <laughs> Hate people that take drugs. You know, like customs officers and policemen. <laughs> Phone the drugs helpline and you get this woman's voice and she went, if you want information on cannabis, press hash. Last year in London, there was 100,000 people went marching to legalise cannabis. And they're all marching going, what do we want? <laughs> when do we want it? <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever tried to watch on television why they put it on? Opera. Have you ever tried to watch an opera? Everyone is exactly the same, you know, if you watch them. There's always the same people in every opera. There's always a fat bird with plaits. <laughs> Tin tits and a helmet. <laughs> and she walks on and goes, <laughs> And a big fat fellow with a beard and an earring. <laughs> he walks on and goes, ha, 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 ha. She stabs him straight through the heart. Well, he doesn't die. He wants to sing then. <laughs> she stabbed me, she stabbed me. <laughs> I started my career in showbiz. I was in a circus. I didn't do an act, but they kept me on for like nine years on the circus because I was the only one who could get the tent in the bag. <laughs> then I was... Um, I was the, the human cannonball, I used to get £60 a week, plus a bit of mileage, you know. The... <laughs> but I left the circus because there was a few accidents and um, the contortionist who, who had a heart attack and he died. But uh, he died in his own arms, so... <laughs> Next time you're on a plane, if you want a bit of a laugh, you know, you know when the person next to you is fast asleep and they start leaning in your space? Put your life jacket on and get your oxygen mask and wake him up. It's good. this morning and couldn't believe it you know the showbiz papers and all that and I'm looking through this thing and it had a picture of Liz Hurley you know the actress with her with her love child a nice word isn't it a different word when I was young
<laughs> that wouldn't work at a football match, would it? <laughs> the referee's a love child. It's bastard. I went, I went to the dentist last week and my dentist, he, he, he's gay. We, we, call, we call him the tooth fairy. <laughs> but, have, you, have you noticed a dentist never speaks to you? It's always his assistant, isn't it? She's the one, she sticks you in the chair, doesn't she? Then she gives you that pink stuff, you know, that Campari disinfectant. <laughs> and um, I never drink it. When she turns her back, I spit it in the bowl. <laughs> then he injects you and when half your head doesn't work he wants a conversation <laughs> how's the wife and family <laughs> Wait, that was a bit of a uh, bit of an abrupt ending there uh, thank you uh, mr. Miller uh, still going strong. I believe he's about 72, something like that, I think. Uh, and uh, brilliant stuff. I remember him from uh, when I was a kid, or a teenager at least. Um, uh, there were a lot of, uh, there was a show called The Comedians and there were just generally random, there's a lot of weird random stuff on TV in those days. Um, in fact, sorry to, to change the subject, but they would just show like a song, a video, uh, just in the middle of like, it's like they didn't, they couldn't think of anything else to shove in to make the time up. So you'd suddenly, I remember once as a kid watching TV in the daytime on a weekday, probably, I was probably off sick or something. And, uh, one program ended and then all of a sudden just Adam and the Ants came on doing the ant rap or whatever it was just just totally bizarre anyway yeah there was a lot of comedy on TV and uh, you know I remember seeing Mick Miller a lot and uh, yeah he hasn't changed that much I mean his act has is good actually I think it's uh, there was some repetition I've seen some of that before but uh, I like the stuff about the opera and uh, I love the joke about the people marching for cannabis and the, you know they've forgotten what it is what do we want what when do we want it what what do we want uh is very good uh so yeah Mick Miller thank you um you know it's the old style of comedy in it um just telling jokes but what's wrong with that that's what I say what is wrong with that uh, you can comment below if you, th if you can think of something that's wrong with it. Uh, thank you. Uh, do like, subscribe, hit the notifications button and comment. And uh, thank you for all the support. Thanks for the subscribers. Keep them coming in. It makes a massive difference to me. I will one day when I have enough uh, for it to make any difference. Thank you. And uh, don't nobody go nowhere.